Hi, and welcome to FemLogic AI, where we show you how to automate and innovate using AI so that you can free up time and use that time to do things that bring you joy. So uh, today we're going to go over uh, something I thought was really cool called My Memo. I don't know if you're like me, but um, I'm kind of addicted to uh, YouTube videos. <laughs> surprise, right? And uh, learning new things. But a lot of times I'm uh, on my phone or somewhere where I can't really like pause and, and actually try to do whatever it is. Or sometimes I just want to remember that for later. Or maybe I watched a really great video and I'm like, wow, you know, I want to make sure that I don't forget about that. But then I do or I save it or I email it to myself and it ends up in nowhere land, right? Um, you know, I do save them on YouTube, but those folders have gotten overrun. So um, my memo is a really cool way Way for you to organize all that stuff, including blog posts and websites and anything you want to remember. Um, in my mind, it's like Pinterest for all of that stuff, but only better because it incorporates AI. So um, let's get started and I'll show you how it works and I'll show you one of the cool new things I learned how to do with it. So hope you like it. All right, so let's get started with the My Memo. So the first thing I'm going to go out here to is the memo dot AI slash home. And um, you can see that linked up here. And then I'm going to actually go in and I logged, I went ahead and logged in and I logged into my Google. So I'm not going to walk you through that creating an account part. And I'll let you go ahead and do that on your own. But what I'm going to show you on here is how cool this is. So uh, one thing I did on my account is I went ahead and I downloaded the Chrome extension too. So um, I have a, an extension right here, this M, which when you click on my extension, you see it. And then I actually clicked on the pinning it so that the pin so that it made sure it's up here all the time on any website I'm on. So I'm sure this has happened to you before. You go out, um, you know, maybe you're working, uh, you get a notification from YouTube saying, you know, somebody that you subscribe to has posted a new video and you're like, oh, I really want to watch that. But you see it's like 30 minutes and you're like, well, I don't really have 30 minutes right now. So you want to make sure you save that for later. Yes, you can save it in a folder on YouTube, but Here's an advantage that I like to do. So this is one of my favorite people in the whole world. This is uh, Charlie Pegan, and he's with the Data for All podcast and Data for All company. And what he does, um, he is the data guru. So he's the data guy in Nashville. So if you're in Nashville and you were involved in data or analytics or AI in any way, you know Charlie. So he works at Belmont as a professor, and he's just an all-around great human being. So I follow his um, and I subscribe to his podcast and his YouTube channel, which I would encourage you to do so as well. And what you do here is he's got this new video and I'm like, oh, I want to make sure I watch that. So I'm going to click on my M here. And since I'm already logged in, it says, oh, I want to save the video. And that's it. That's it. I saved it to my video. So this is great because when things pop up, I can just click save really quickly. So I've got his video there. And then I got to go over to my memo. And then if I refresh this, oh, look, Charlie's videos, they are great. So what's really cool about this, because you're probably saying I could just save it or email it to myself or whatever, and you could. But what I want to do here is now I want to ask Memo. So I've got this in here, and I want to say, tell me about data storytelling. So let's say I have a lot of data that I'm collecting. So I'm writing a book and I'm collecting data from here. I've got blogs, I've got PDFs, I've got all kinds of stuff and I'm putting them in here. I wanna ask, tell me about data storytelling or the top five things about data storytelling. Now I can use the AI that's built into here to actually ask and not only that, but it pulls up what I've got about data storytelling. So if there were five videos in here and a blog post, it would list them all here as this is where I got that information. I think that's super cool because I don't know about you, but I have a lot, a lot of bookmarks and sometimes so many bookmarks and so many folders that I can't find my stuff. So you can do that in here. Other things you can do with this particular My Memo, which I think is really cool, is I could add in PDF documents. So I can just add in a file. And so I downloaded a, a PDF about dogs because I really like dogs. Um, so I'm gonna load that in there and it should give me a message in just a second saying, hey, you loaded it in, you go in there, and then you can go back to the My Memo section. Let's see if we can get it to we'll refresh. And it must not have taken my PDF. Sometimes that happens. 
<laughs> okay, so I wanted to add that there. Now it's loading. So now it's loading my PDF in there. And so that's what I want to do. So when I go into documents now, it has my PDF or when I go to all and I didn't tell it it was a document, it automatically knew because it's a PDF. So um, two totally different things. Um, I can categorize them. I can create collections so I can say like, this is all my stuff about dogs. This is all the stuff about for the book that I'm looking to like, you know, review, or you can just put them all in there as a giant data dump, whatever you want to do. So again, I can go over to ask my memo and I'm going to say, what is the best breed of dog for kids? So if we got a kids at home, want to make sure there's a nice gentle dog. Look, it pulls up and it gives me some information. It tells me where it got that information, and I think that's really cool. So it says, you know, you might consider a Labrador Retriever, a Golden Retriever, Beagles, Bulldogs, Poodles, all great with children, and it gives me information. So rather than me having to read that PDF, which is like, I believe it was uh, seven or eight pages, it just pulls the highlights out of there. And so I really like that for blog posts as well as websites and things like that so that um, I don't necessarily have to read the entire thing. Sometimes I want to go back and read it later, but I really just need the highlights. Um, so if you're looking for news and, and world reports and stuff, that might be a way to do that as well. So anyway, I think this My Memo is a really cool tool. Um, you know, it's graphically oriented. So anytime you go in here, you can say, oh, I like that. It's got kind of separated by my videos by my documents. I can also load images in here. So if I did want to do a Pinterest style where I wanted to say, you know, we're redesigning our bedroom. Let me give yeah, inspirational ideas on, on that. I think that's really cool. I can create a collection so I can say, um, you know, book ideas. And so I'm going to select an icon and I'm going to say, um, you know, probably coffee is a good one on that one. So I'm going to need a lot of coffee if I'm writing a book, right? And so it comes over here and then it has my collection. So again, when I go, and so the collection's empty, I don't have anything in there, but I can add things to the collection. I can delete things, you know, I can go back through and I can go back out of my books and go to, you know, here's my collection of book ideas, or I can just go to my general purpose folder here on my memo. Anyway, I thought this was really cool. Um, I really struggle with organizing my ideas and then trying to find them later. Um, I have so many emails to myself, uh, but I think this is a great plan. So hope you like it. Hey, thanks for coming and staying with us for FamLogic AI, where we went over the MyMemo.ai um, application there. And I think it's really cool. Um, I love the idea of being able to organize my thoughts and then search back through them. Um, I think of this as similar to a Pinterest style, only with more organization and built-in AI. So I really like this. Um, I hope that you find it useful and uh, let me know what you think. If there's something you want to learn or you want more information, please reach out. I'm always happy to help. So thanks for joining us on FamLogic AI. I hope that we helped you free up some time so that you can do things that bring you joy. Have a great day.